All right, let's see if it will save where I was last time. Yep, I'm in the exact spot I started from. Hey, everybody, around the wheel here. You're watching Isles of Sea and Sky, and we have improved our situation somewhat. We've gone from washing up on the beach to actively taking reliable transportation to the beach. So we need to get out of here. This is a key block of some kind, it looks like. So we're on a second beach of some kind. We only got one way we can go, and that's here. And so we have to go somewhere else now because we don't have seven stars. So, okay, we will explore this island then later on. Let's get back on the turtle and go somewhere where we can go. All right, and that's going to be where? Who knows? There's, there's quite a bit open here. Maybe this game is more linear than I initially suspected, but we can go here. This looks like a pretty big rock, and I can leave one side or the other. Okay, and we got an achievement for visiting the Stony Cliffs. Yay, us. What awaits us at the Stony Cliffs? Perhaps some stone, maybe some cliffs of some kind. Can't go there, so we need to go left. Okay, we got these sleeping stars. The game did not bother much with the story. It got right to down to brass tacks. Uh, it just washed us up on the island. Oh, hey, okay, okay, we are now stuck here. Okay, will we be unstuck if we reset? We are. But yeah, the game didn't bother much with story in the beginning. It just washed us up on the island and had us going. I'm sure we'll learn things later, but... Oh, okay, all right, all right. So as soon as we... As soon as we leave the premises... Uh, as soon as we step off crystal is created got it okay we are in the crystal cliffs um all right so let's see if we can do this without getting ourselves stuck all right that's done but it looks like i used one too many okay yeah i i used a little bit too much of the of the landscape to do the job um so yeah if i go here yeah i have an out yeah i can go up from there and there we go Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And we got a little diamond thingy. So diamonds are probably going to work on some of the rocks. Uh, what is this? Okay, so that block eliminates crystal. Very nice. Uh, maybe we can take it with us elsewhere. Oh, but as soon as we... Okay. As soon as it comes off, it grows back. Got it. But we can use it to kind of mow the crystal on here. Um, so does a diamond go in here? They look about the same color, but that is not true. That is not the case. So, again, yeah, have to go elsewhere, but we have a little orange diamondy thing. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so I have to do this again. Okay. Whoops, I made more work for myself than was strictly necessary. Oops, no. Uh, okay, yeah, there we go. I was standing on the wrong one to begin with. Whoops, nope, moved too far too fast. All right, so... Nope, I did it wrong again. There's a very specific way to do it. And that way is coming in this way. There we go. All right, now, now, I want to say, <laughs> I was going to say the game is showing some teeth, but that's just me being a goober probably at this point. Okay, so this one, this one mows the crystal lawn. Got it. And if I want to go back, I can go here. Don't know what use that would be really be right now, though. So next screen, we've got a keyhole. <coughs> Excuse me, that's good. A little bit of a spiral, a little bit of a spiral pavement situation here. I wonder if that is meaningful. Got to get on the other side of this. Let's just work with what we can work with for right now. So we go, we go here, we grab this. Aha! Understanding is becoming clear. So I go down here, I put that there so that I can leave on the way out okay there we go uh-huh there we go excellent and now i grab this we have two of these now i wonder if we have to have a certain number to do things but that's all we can do here for now so let's keep looking go down here all right take one of these all right take one go this way Pretty sure we can do this without any sort of crystal touching, crystalline touching. Okay, so what we want to do is take it in here. This may be one of those screens that we reset. Just to, okay, yeah. 
So we come in here, we push this here onto this, and then come out here. Okay, and that got me stuck. No, that didn't get me stuck. I can go here. Yeah, because I'm going to have to reset the screen, I believe, to do this right. Or maybe not. Uh, maybe I can just... Okay, we ding that. Bring this with us and cut this down. All right. Very good. All right, yeah. No screen resetting required at all. This is just... You can do this one in one shot. All right, we got four diamonds. I wonder what number is going to be, what the number is going to be where that's going to become meaningful. It's not four, I can tell you that. So we have to go up and we have to keep exploring. We have to keep seeing just what it is that the stony cliffs have in store for us. So this is a spike trap. I'm gonna remind myself that it's a spike trap by stepping on it. Exactly. Okay, so what then we want to do can't do anything with these. You have to actually press the green trigger block, it would seem. So what we got to do is sneak around, sneak Miss Sally through the alley here real quick. And grab a key. Okay. Fourth key. Very nice. Yeah, still nothing, still nothing happening with that. Um, let's see. We want to take a block. Let's see how this works with the spike trap. Have I forgotten how it works with the spike trap? No, that that doesn't really accomplish anything. Okay, so these these must be destructible in some way because it is entirely blocking the bell over here, the yellow. Oh, hey, what? Okay, I stepped in a special spot. I see music happening. Music notes? Okay, I found a music note. I didn't even notice that that was there. What is that all about then? Okay, so we're going to be finding... We're going to be looking for the music of the spheres, it would seem like. Okay. It keeps the fact that I have found the musical note. So I'm going to go ahead and touch it again, just to be sure. Okay, yeah. Nothing happening there. We will eventually get to a place where we can wake up Sleepy Star, who's got quite a little drool bubble going there. Okay, let's, let's keep moving around. That's the nice thing about this game. If something isn't immediately obvious, you can walk around and look for something else. So, so if I, no, I'm, you don't need to walk in the path prescribed. Okay, so we come here when we have all the music notes in the scale. Okay. Sometime we are going to unlock the magical xylophone. I don't know when that time is going to be. And I feel like it will unlock all the yellow rocks somehow. Maybe we have to find the yellow switch palace. I don't know. Okay, well, we have four, three keys, so we can at least get one of these guys. I think that's probably good to take. Probably good to collect as many of those as we can get so we can access more parts of the island. The more, the merrier. Um, yeah, let's go here and see what, see what is up. This, yeah, I was going to say, this probably takes us back to the beginning of the island, actually. This, it felt conspicuously like a circle. Let's go in the cave. Let's see what's up with the cave. See if we can find any more musical notes in the cave. Okay, well, we got that. But we'll have to find the other entrance to the cave. That was correct, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. But we'll have to do it all at the same time. Hmm. Because we have no way of getting past this. So, that's a mystery for another day. And probably because that up one is right next to... Well, no. Okay, well, we can just touch this, so we have to come in from the bottom. So, just touching the blue one is not going to be helpful at all. So then, what is going to be helpful? What is going to... What's with the aura coming off the marimba here? What are we gonna... Why is it so magical? Why is it... Why is it breathing magic puffs of magic? There's a lot... There's a lot I don't understand about the game just yet. But I'm gonna keep on going up the stairs. Oh! Fade to cutscene. Oh, maybe we might actually learn something here. 
We've got... Okay, we've got six... We've already found four pieces of diamond. Maybe when we find six, uh, old man will tell us something. Or maybe he'll talk to us right now. Um, no. No, pretty quiet. Pretty quiet right now. All quiet on the on the island front at the moment. Can't push two of these against each other. All right. So that means we can take this then and mayhaps. No, I think I might have put it on the wrong thing. No. No, we want to be able to hold that down. We got to be able to hold down. There we go. All right, got one of them. Perfect. Oh, hey, and that opened up a seal so we can get another one. Did that do that to every one of those or was that just triggered by a specific one? We could go off and do any of these, but this one is right here in front of our faces and it seems to hold... Well, no. Okay, we've still only found four. According to, so that one was a special one. That one was like a key to another thing. Uh, can't really get down inside of this thing the way I would want to. That key is, that key is not for me for now. I'm going to go ahead and take this. I've got five diamonds. Okay. That did, that one did go there. So we only have to find one more to, can I push this on top of you? I can't. Okay. Well. Thanks for playing anyway, buddy. Um, maybe, maybe real quick, we can take one of these and... Maybe we can take this and push it down here and push it into the hole to get the key. Nope, it just fell straight down and did not fill the hole properly. Okay, so... All right, it seems like we need to find six, six nice. Okay, so it doesn't use up the key. It just makes these things accessible. Got it. So let's go having a look-see then. Let's go ahead and do what we can for the common man. We've got a key. We can make this happen. Okay, so if we come over here, I take this. I got to fill in at least one of these holes. Hey, there's a lady over here. Hey, how how you doing? What's... Okay, no, all right. Not happening. Well, this looks like the last of the six diamonds that I need. Uh, where does this take me? Over here. Okay, I wasn't, I wasn't looking. So... And I'm stuck now. Uh, that reset everything except the skittish little lady. So, yeah, we're going to need one key. So I'm going to use it for that. And I think it's probably good to put this here. Yeah, we're going to be filling in ground so that we can fill this in. So that we can achieve some purpose. Okay. To make this come down so we can go up the mountain. Got it. Okay. Uh, same deal here. I don't see why we can't just... Well, let's see. Yeah, let's push this here. Now let's go around and do this onto here so that we can at least get that key. Because that'll stay if we reset the property. Okay, uh-huh. And got it. Okay, so now I just have to get this into some kind of a position. Is this the block I want for this? It would not seem so. So I push this onto here, and I think I've made, I think I've made a hash of it. So we might have to reset this room, because all I can do is push this, well, yeah. I, I either push this down here and do this like this and it does nothing. Yeah, that does nothing to really, so as long as I'm not getting the key. Okay, I got the key. I got the key, so I don't need to use that for that. That's that's totally fine, probably. Uh, let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and do this here, again, once more. And then go ahead and take this here. And I'm going to put this 
here and use it for this. Okay, and then that means I could use this to get this filled. And then yeah, pretty simple. Okay, so yeah, so getting the key requires a reset, but it's not a big deal. Now we have six diamonds. Now I wanna go back and see if, well, now I need, hmm. Sure, I can do that, but you need a block to stay in place on top of it. Maybe the lady would help me if she trusted me. Maybe that's the key to that puzzle. But I do need to go back and see about that god thing that was sitting at the top of the mountain. I assume it's some kind of god thing. Maybe it will talk to me now. Now that I've done everything. I oh, 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 it opened one of these guys from Outset Island. Okay. All right. Awaken the stone elementals. We have made we have made some progress there. So what does that do? Oh, hey, hi, how you doing? Very nice. Okay, we've got three stars. That opens up at least one island. Okay, okay. Okay, now I want to see what the now I want to see what the stone elementals are capable of. Just briefly. Okay, so they will go until they run into some kind of environmental how do you do? So if I take him and do this, okay. Let's see, okay, so the trick is to get him to destroy this block right here. Get him in a position where he will do that. Okay. Let's see, so I have to find the, I have to find the pattern. That's how you're gonna do this. That's how you're gonna get that key. Cause he can't, he can't jump over this hump right here. Looks like background. I can walk up on top of it just fine. There is a little bit of a rise animation where I step on top of it. Okay, so how am I going to be accomplishing this? I think I may, it may be that I need the help of this thing. Uh, let's go ahead and, hmm. Let's go ahead and push this here. Hmm. And then take this. No, I think I did this wrong. I think I did this wrong. Uh, let's go ahead and reset. We have the stone. Okay, so we have the stone golem. He's totally cool. All right, and he will just, okay. All right. So we're gonna leave him there for now, but I think we might have to use these crystal blocks to give him a place to relax. Or at least one of them anyway. So. Um, yeah, let's, okay, oh, can't do that. So. So let's see, how did I do this the first time? How can I free these in such a way? All right. Let's take this, yeah, and take this over here somewhere. So we have this that we can kind of freely push around. Okay, got it, got it. Bring you back over here and then up. And I don't want to push you left, really. I just want to push you. Now, will you destroy the block? It doesn't matter if you destroy the block. All I have to do is push it over here. Because you'll stop once you quit rolling. Okay, so he just pushed it. That's fine. Perfect. We get the key. We get the key and we can go on. So, okay. They keep rolling until they hit something. Got it. Not much of a talker, are you? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. You gave us what we need to. You gave us access to the stone golems. Now, if I push one into the other, will will pushing one to the other start the other rolling? Indeed, it will. Okay, all right. So, so then what we want to do is, let's try some things. If we push this, if I push this into you, will it start you rolling? It will not. Okay, I like I like what this gave us though. It did give us some freedom here. 
you are no longer usable. Uh, you on the right. I can't push you at anything. So that means that now... Okay, I can't walk onto this, but maybe... Maybe I can push this here. Maybe destroying a block is not the smart move, but I do need you to bump up against it. So that I can do this to you. Fantastic. Alright. And now I push you here. And then here. So that you can destroy this block for me. I don't think your services are further needed, so I think I can push you here at this point. And now I just need to find someone to push into the hole somehow. Or to have a block to push into the hole, which, no, I don't have. I messed that up. So, I need to not destroy a block somehow. So I need to do this in an order, because you can't fill a hole with this guy. He'll, he'll just hop over it. I think we saw that demonstrated upstairs so i've got to do this in such a way yep that resets everything i've got to keep a block intact although this is all now gone so that's that's reassuring uh so now i don't think i have to i'm still gonna ding -a -ling this one just to have the maneuverability but I think now I can just push this here, destroy that block, do that thing again, and have that be free so that I can just push the block into there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And then, then I can have the stone golem stand on top of the switch so I can get the star. And I think that's going to be the stopping point for today. Absolutely 100% perfect. There we go. Okay. So we've got four stars. We have awoken one of the four gods of the isle of the seas and the sky. We've got a couple keys. Looks like we're in a good position right now. Next time we should probably go... Uh, next time we should probably go looking for old gal. Um, got me wondering what she's up to. But we'll have to save that for another day. This is a good place to stop. I'll see you guys next time.